What's up, producers? Welcome to Low and Candy. I'm Bohemoth, and today we're going to be talking about split stereo pan mode in Ableton Live. Before I hopped in, I wanted to say that I'm currently doing one on one mentorship lessons on AbletonLiveTeacher.com. Having a mentor is the best and quickest way to get good at production. If it's something you're interested in, the link's in the description. Also, I'm doing new YouTube videos almost daily. So if you want to go ahead and toss me a subscribe, that really helps me out. If there's something you want to see, toss it in the comments and I'll make sure to get to you. All right, so split stereo pan mode. This is something that I actually didn't know existed until about a year ago. It's one of those things in Ableton that's kind of like a hidden menu. You wouldn't really know it's there unless you come up here and you right click on split stereo pan mode. So before I hop into that, I'm going to give you an idea of what's happening on regular pan mode so we can kind of be on the same page here. So this example is best understood with two different tracks. So we have two tracks on here. One's panned all the way to the left and one is panned all the way to the right. So the way we're going to think about this is we're going to think about it as one stereo track. So we're not going to look at these. We have one stereo track here. Nobody left behind. Nobody left behind. So if this is one stereo track we have here, and let's say we pan the whole thing to the right. Nobody left behind. Nobody left behind. Nobody left behind. So what are we noticing here is that all we have when we pan to the right is the sound that's already on the right. And same with on the left. Nobody left behind. So what is this telling us? This is telling us that as we pan dramatically from the left or the right, it's not pushing everything to one side. It's actually erasing everything except one side of the speaker. For example, so when we go to pan something hard in one direction, all it's really doing is it's erasing half of the signal. This brings us to split stereo pan mode. If we go over here and we select split stereo pan mode, we have our left and our right. What these are is now it's split so we can actually move the left all the way to the right and have both signals on the right or vice versa. So basically, nobody left behind. Nobody left behind. Nobody left behind. So now we pan to the left all the way to the right and now we have both signals all the way on the right instead of only one. Same thing with the left obviously. Nobody left behind. Nobody left behind. No. So I really hope you're understanding the principle of split stereo pan mode. Basically, um, it allows you to split them and then pan them independently instead of erasing half the signal. So it was a pretty quick video. I found that this actually helps me a lot. When you want to preserve a signal, you don't want to erase half of it. You can enter split stereo pan mode and it just opens up all the possibilities. So. I hope this helped you guys. It was just a quick one for today. Uh, again, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.